there, it's me, Katie Beth again. And today I'm here with Los from... Watch Out Why You Poop 2. <laughs> and today we're doing a collab video on how to make your own mermaid tail. Uh, it's actually really fun to make with the kids. We had a birthday party this weekend for my stepdaughter. This is one of the ones she made with her cousin. And as Los pointed out, these also make great aprons. And Los actually also has a cooking show on his YouTube site. And what is it called? Single serving, forever alone cooking. Just because you're gonna die alone doesn't mean you have to die hungry. <laughs> and uh, so um, we're also having a giveaway at the end. Um, you can win some of your own mermaid tails. Stay tuned at the end for details. And here we go, showing you how to make your own mermaid tail. The tails that I initially made were for my stepdaughter's birthday party, so I tried to size them up to her pants. She wasn't in the house that day, so I used a pair of her pants, and at first I tried measuring them, but then I decided just to lay them down and draw around them. So of course I grabbed out my Sharpie and tried to draw what I thought a mermaid tail would look like, but when I cut it out, it looked like this whale tail here. So I went back and redrew it, And then this is what I got, and I liked that a lot better. So then I brought out the pants again to try it out to see how big it would look on a kid. Um, it was still bigger than I wanted it to be, because I wanted it to look like a cute little mermaid tail. So I went back again and cut it out again. And then I also went and refined it a little more. And the fish tail part, the little taily feet part also needed to be refined so this is me refining that and I actually love the way it came out I love that look so then I just measured it again to make sure it would look good I thought it did so then I just started tracing out a whole bunch more and I did this in several different colors and several different sizes because the age range at the party was between six months and 12 years old Here's some different colors, and here's some different sizes. It's an adult and a kid, and then here's the entire bunch that I made with uh, several different sizes. So the next part is putting on the tie to cinch it around your waist. And so I just grabbed some ribbon, cut it out, and then I sewed it along the edge to make the tie. And then this is my uh, practice one to show everybody how to do it. And now, contest time! So for this contest, there will be two options. One is you can win one that's already pre-made like this. Or two, you can get um, an activity kit, which includes a tail and some things to decorate it with for you to do at home. And here are the contest rules. One, subscribe to this channel. And if you're already subscribed, thank you very much. That, that works too. Thank you for being subscribed. And two, like this video on the YouTube page, not just on Facebook. And comment in the YouTube comment section below and tell me which type of tail you'd be interested in winning. A pre-made one that's just ready to go and wear and play with already. Or a tail kit, which will be the tail and come with some decorations that you can decorate it with. Please have your submissions in by Friday, October 20th, 2017, and winners will be notified by Saturday, October 21st, 2017. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks for watching.